Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Ages Plays Valheim. So, in the previous video I said to you we're going to probably expand our base and upgrade a few facilities, like work on our blacksmith, and so on. Because we don't really have a crafting area. We've got like a, a workspace, but we don't have a crafting area. And I couldn't decide where to put it. I ran circles around my base and it's like, do I put a chair? How's it best going to suit us? So then I opted. Let's dig out this section. Because I do need the extra space and I want to upgrade our defenses a bit. And I want to get myself a permanent bridge as well. So, what better way to do it than with a full base upgrade? So, I only want to go to more or less here. I think it is. Because the ground starts getting weird here. Uh, I'll show you now once I get up there. See, so, like, the ground's pretty much flat. Okay, let's go to this rock. Yeah, we'll go towards the rock. Because we're not doing a big section, we're just going to... square it off from here. To that rock and then come down because what was happening is because I went so big in the previous one and I didn't have anything built there mobs started spawning inside the base and this is pretty much our defensive line I was like that's not good to have them spawn inside the base oops uh, we were going to go go to the rock yeah uh, I can fix that A little bit deep, further down. Okay, let's just go deeper. And it's dark, so let's go have a nap. We also bought the road to make our lives easier so that we can get in and out with our carts. And we're still busy smeltering away on our coal. Because I'm here, might as well repair my tool. But yeah, we needed a decent crafting area because the moment it's not looking so looking so good. So yeah, let's go to the rock here. So I also measured where these. Uh, Guys, us trigger from, which is more or less here. I use the rock as my marker. And as long as I don't go past this rock, that rock there, they do not come after me. So now comes the the careful way of planning my ground and my my digging. Nope, oh, that was nearly my head squash. Because it gets quite low on the side. And this isn't a very big expansion area. So 
So I just got to quickly pop our head out. Let's see where our current line is, which is more or less over here. I'm trying to keep the place as square as possible for neatness and the ability to build my walls. Okay. Two more hits and then we can get started on that side. Let me just go back and fix that corner. Okay. Now we just make this a little bit deeper. Just in case a, a troll manages to fall in there. Okay. Then we go start this side. See, it's not a big area. But it'll be perfect for my crafting. A very hard earned road over there. But hard earned. It took me nearly 20 episodes to make it. But in the last video, we actually cleared a decent path for it. I haven't tested it yet, but I will do so pretty soon. Because I actually need to go do another iron run. We worked out more or less that I need around 100 iron. So 100 120 iron. Just so I can upgrade my gear and build the two new benches that came with the iron upgrade. Because I'm still running around with level 1 upgraded gear and I need a better cape. Oh, times are tough, man. Okay, we should be heading out of the hole. But I will be honest, you'll notice I spend a lot of time building and adjusting my base. It's because I'm actually a base builder. Um, I generally just left the exploring to my friends. Nice. Yeah, no, I generally left the exploring and stuff to my friends, right? And I spent the time making sure we were, uh, we had a place to rest, rest our stuff. And that was always my role of the, of the group. But now I'm playing by myself. I've got to do all that. Sorry, I'm just giving this a place of once over with the leveling. Now I need to fix up that hole. Actually, I could leave that hole. Nothing's going to get in there. And it's not so bad. Yeah, let's see, this is also why I chose this spot. It's actually pretty level. Yeah, I'm not 
couldn't bother doing that piece. So, okay, I don't have enough wood. Oops. So we do that. Oops. I need wood, not stone. Give me wood. And this to prevent stuff from spawning over here. Crafting table. See, that can still spawn that little edge there, but it's fine. Now we get our hoe again. And we fill it in. And because I'm only targeting the middle piece, you can see the sides fill in automatically. Went in a little bit deep on this one. Let's go grab some more stone. Number seven. Yeah, because I went deep here. Yeah. I can't reach the bottom. <laughs> there we go. Nice little base expansion. So, I now need to craft us a wall from a little outpost there all the way through here. And it's going to be difficult because obviously this piece started much higher. So, I must now decide how I'm going to do it. I don't want to make like an extremely high wall. It just needs to be. Actually, let's do this. Uh, it's not as flat. There we go. Like so. See, I don't even want it like right on the edge. It's. So yeah, now I can just flatten this area off best I can. Because I did want the, t the tower a little bit higher than the rest of the base. But I couldn't get the roof right. So yeah, I'm busy leveling off this section. I can replant the grass, so, so I'm not too stressed about the grass. Okay, so now we need to go get me that little bit of tin we have left. I mean, iron. And we're going to build us another stone workbench. Because I need to expand our wall a little bit. I 
I think that's enough. Because uh, I don't want it to keep carting out. Yeah, it's more than enough. I don't want to keep carting around the the one I have placed inside the base. So just need a bit of wood. That goes there. Okay. Now I need as much wood as I can carry. Come back here, cart. Not wood, stone. Hey, this weight belt is a blessing. So then we go like this. Okay, this one wants... So yeah, uh, I'm just going to do it like that. So yeah, it's not 100% flat. And that's now flying, so it won't snap there. And now if I <coughs> don't do that, it works. He's also not too happy there. But I can just go boom, like so. See, I want it more or less uh, equal. I don't want it being like staggered. Does that make sense? Okay, so we need to build. Oh, my other stone benches range. I want that piece to snap there. And I can do that. Perfect. Uh -huh. When it comes time to expanding again, this is going to be a bit of a problem. <laughs> but it's fine. Oh, right, no, it's done. We don't need lots, we just want to finish off this piece. Yeah, let's not make this one so high. We can stagger it just a little bit. But yeah, we got a uh, general outline. So now we can... See, it doesn't even need to go all the way flush against the wall, which I'm not planning on doing. Uh, so we can take this, smash this piece. I was contemplating leaving that uh, log there, but that log is going to go... Unfortunately. Okay. Uh, this workbench needs to now move. 
I'm going to be using it because I'm going to be doing a combination of of stuff. But I primarily actually need wood now. Uh, let's do the outline quickly. It's not go crazy with placing. See, it's not flush against there. I did that for a reason. Okay, that should be 10. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One more. One, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yep. Okay, that stone's in our way. Two, three. See, this piece has to be a little bit long because the those charcoal makers take up a lot of space. If I'm not mistaken, this is now... Oops. Okay, uh, just have a quick nap so that we can just get rid of, get some light back into the situation, and then I'll repair my gear while I'm at it. I'm deliberately not eating food while I'm crafting. Because I noticed I was wasting quite a bit of food. Okay. We will make that neater in a bit, but I want to get some core wood. Because the wagon will not be able to get in and out of there. But we need some core wood. So, okay, then we just need to strengthen this. See, I'm not even going to fill all this in with regards to building a floor. I'm going to, uh, what you call it? I'm going to use the stone floors. But I do need a roof over it. And I'm using the core wood because the core wood looks nicer. Ran out of cool wood. So I'm going to use the stone floor as, as a floor instead of using 
traditional flow. But because I want a roof, I want it to snap. That's why I did the frame. So now we go like this. Uh, let's go steep at the bottom. Because this piece is a little bit elevated. We can sit steep at the bottom. Like so. Then we just swap it around. Hopefully I aimed that correctly. Then we go let's have an angle. Because that one is not snapped correctly. What I'll do is we'll build that piece. Oh, that's fine. Let me take this one, snap it like that, and snap that one into place. I don't like that it's not snapping where I want it to snap. <laughs> like I don't want it to go under, I want it to go in line. I'm probably going to have the same problem here, but we'll see. Yep, didn't have a problem. Okay, and I'm going to need to do a chair in the middle as well. For that extra support. I don't even know why I turned that around. And of course I gotta hit my middle button while turning. Nope, that's now off. It looks right. Oh, I don't know. Boom and boom. Okay. Now we put the core wood away. Gonna need quite a bit of that wood. Won't carry any more. So let's now fill this in. Now 
Now we do this side. Because remember, I did one high, one steep, one low, and then I'm going to do an additional one just below it of the of the lower. Like the, I think it's the 26 degree angle. See, I'm also not too phased that I haven't connected my ballings together. Because you would have noticed I haven't done that. But it's like that for a reason. All the times they did not sit there and say, hey, we wanted to build one mega structure. I'm building a mega base or a little town. But I haven't gone around and connected all the pieces together other than my outer wall. But the outer wall, I have to do it. Because if I don't, I'm not going to be able to put everything in. Oops. Now I just got to go through here to the middle. As you can see, it's nice and green throughout the whole build. Okay, so now we're going to destroy these. Because they weren't really there for anything other than to give me a bit of a piece to work from. And I do have that there. So now we're going to come through here and we're going to level this off with our stone looking ground. Let's take the stone out of here. Don't know how much stone we're actually going to need, but... Okay, so I don't want to go too low, but let's start from here. Let's... boom. And the reason I'm doing it with this ground is also it saves on loading frames. So every structure you put in creates a bit of a, something for the game to load in. Uh, I can't remember the proper name. So if you do it like this, like the game will pre always pre-render my ground in. But if I have a... Okay, this needs to just be flattened a bit. There we go. So if you do it like a structure like this, then it, it works out better then as if it were uh, what you want to call it There we go. This piece does need to get put back. Or just a small one. Just to keep some continual, continual 
Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, I can't pronounce the word. Like that. <coughs> okay. Now I need to go and fetch these extra cores. Yeah, we need to get more stone as well. Nope, too much stone. So we need to go like this. I want to place them. No. Let's place it, see what's blocking it. So there's nothing actually blocking it. It's just not liking the square. Yeah, I liked it for a second ago. Come on. There we go. See, but that's not exactly in line with the other one. I'll be moving them further and further forward. So they're, they're sitting at an angle. You can see they quite a hectic angle. So I'm going to demolish this one. And demolish that wood beam. Maybe that's what's causing it. See, there's no reason why it should not be snapping. And there we go. Oh, now it's even worse off. See, I want it to sit like back here. Uh, let me see if I can flatten this ground. I can always just fix it just now. Maybe it's the ground that's not liking. Yeah, see, now this one's out of place. But it was definitely the ground. So that's good news. We'll just flatten it a bit more. And then I'll fix that beam. See, now these are quite far back, but oh, it's not even in line. Oh, my word. Like that. That's perfect. Okay, I'm not going to worry that these are not perfectly in place. I'm going to take this. <coughs> Pardon me. That was the whole purpose of doing it like this. I want to fix this 
leg here. Just to give it a bit of stability. Same with that one. Okay. So now we've got those guys are all going good. I'm going to now put, if it allows me, to go and grab all those other ones and put them along this line. Like I said, it all comes down to if it allows me. So I'm just going to grab these as is. Okay, it says I'm weighted, but it's fine. It's an extra stone. So I want to be able to come here, park my cart, so there, I wanted more than just three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a bit further over. So we're going to start there. I wanted to try to get four in here. Can't have it too close because I've got to get in between there. So we do it like that. Like that. And like that, uh, missing requirement, stone. Did I bring stone? No, I didn't. We'll put this one on the side here. That way I'll still be able to run in and out. Is he in line? Because now it's... Uh, am I able to pull my car through? A little bit of a tight squeeze, but it's fine. Okay, guys. I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, I can't see it now because it's dark. We're going to obviously add some lighting to the situation there. But that's going to be our workshop from now on. So we're going to add some lighting and make it a little bit more accessible. But I just want to say thank you for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. I'll do the lighting and stuff now. And yeah, we'll see how it comes out. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video.